Welcome to this tutorial about Accessed None. Now, this will be a tutorial in a new series that we will be calling Common Problems. It will essentially be dealing with uh, why certain problems are existing, understanding them, and then learning how to fix them, essentially. So let's just jump into an example and show how this works. Before we jump in, if you have a suggestion for a problem that is common or you would like to have help with, feel free to post your suggestion in the comments down below for inspirations for future episodes in this series. Thank you. So here we are in inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is version 4.27, but the versions won't matter. This is a concept that's equal between all of them. Uh, and essentially what we have here is just a character I have created over here, which I can just run around with. And uh, when I press some buttons, you can see that this is the error I get. Now, this is the error that you're going to get every time that you're running into an access none trying to read a property. And then the information here to the right will be different. So this is how an error will look. Now let's see what we can do about it. Each of these underscored uh, lines are representing of a particular part in your code where you can just click on it and you will end up in that part. The furthest right, right one here is the one that's usually most important. So if you click in there, you'll see that it takes you to a piece of code. In my case, it's taking me to a print string where I'm trying to uh, print out a variable in this reference. So what is this reference? Well, this reference in this case is a reference I have in this blueprint, which is of the type fancy box. Now the type doesn't really matter that much, but in this case, if there is a fancy box in the world, this uh, variable could reference that. Now, how does this problem arise then? Well, if we were to put a few boxes like this, the fancy box, into the world, which is this blueprint I've created, I now have two boxes in this world which are representative of this blueprint. So we have the fancy box one and fancy box two. Now, this reference on my character that's referencing a fancy box can have one of three values currently. It can either be referencing one of these two different boxes or it can be referencing none of them. Those are the three options for it. And a reference is exactly that. When you create a reference, it needs to refer to something of that type. So you have the possibility of referring to a specific kind of actor of that type, or it can refer to nothing as in being sort of null. What is happening in this case, which gives us this problem is that we are having just that. We're having a reference that isn't set. So we try to get a variable from an actor that is not actually being referenced right now. That is what is causing the problem. Next, we can talk a little bit about how this could possibly happen. Now, if you were to have something like a custom event, we can call this this one, uh, and you were to have a parameter being passed here. So if we were just to get this quickly on like so, now you can see we have a reference of a fancy box that's being sent into this event. So if you do some code here afterwards, like for example, we wanted to do exactly this code that we did over here. Like so. Then we would try to print out what the fancy variable inside this fancy box is. If we are expecting this reference to always be correct when we get here, then this is a source of where it could go wrong. Uh, different ways of doing or get running into this problem in general is also that you are expecting to set this at some point and then are forgetting, maybe like in a begin play or something like that. Um, another way you could possibly get it is by like trying to do a cast and then setting a reference and then expecting that reference to work later on. Like, Let's say we get a reference from somewhere to an object, we cast it to something, we expect it to be a fancy box. And then we say, okay, now 
we want to have this reference being set like so. And then we think, okay, everything's gonna work. But if we are getting to a point where we're sending in an object of the wrong type here, this cast will fail, which means we won't set this variable. And then if we later on expect to use it, then it will fail also, generating this error. So let's talk about some ways how you can actually prevent this from happening. Uh, one of the ways is to do something like this. When you get the reference, you want to actually uh, work with it. You can use a, one of the valid checks. So you can either have the one that says the green function mark or the question mark, and they will give these two different values. So here you'll get a macro essentially showing you like if it goes this path, if it's valid in this path, if it's not, and having a print string after this will make sure like so. Let's move this up a little bit. If we were to do this, then it, this means that the print is only happening when it's a valid reference, right? Equally, we can do the same here by just plugging this one into a branch and then having the, the true value going into the print string over there. Now, these are all fine options if you want to be defensive in coding. Uh, there are also other options. If you, for example, said that you wanted to have, uh, you wanted to get a reference of something and then you just right click that and convert it to a validate get. This is essentially like the, the valid that we just checked, which gives us the two branch for the different uh, success or fail of uh, checking if it is valid or not. And then you also have your reference here if you want to make use of that. So that is essentially everything around access now. So just to uh, reflect a little bit about this, we get this error because we're trying to reach either a variable or a function inside of a reference that is not referring to an actual object. It is a non-object or a non-reference, a null reference essentially. Since we are trying to reference something that is not actually set, we get the error. And this can come in a lot of different ways, either by mistakes or assuming that we will have a reference, like failed casts or getting the reference from a, an event. And the ways we can solve this is by introducing defensive coding, but making sure that we are actually validating variables before making use of them. I hope all of that makes sense and is of use for you in the future. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.